<laughs> All right, let's talk, about mm-hmm. <laughs> let's talk about your forecast because we've got a really nice weekend ahead. If you have any outdoor plans, if you have a uh, kids soccer tournaments outside, you're not going to be too upset about sitting outside for hours on a weekend like this. A November weekend can be very cold and can be very damp. Not this time around, and certainly that has been the case all autumn long. We have not had a lot of rain. We need it desperately, and once again, this latest system has been a disappointment to us. 45 degrees outside right now. We've got the clouds in place thanks to the system that brought some rain, especially just off to our south last night. Winds are out of the northeast. They're light for now at about six miles an hour. Our temperature of 45 feels a little bit colder, but with the cloud cover, we're not as cold as we have been a few mornings this week. But look at the rain. It's right there. If it could just sneak up a few hundred miles, we could really use this. We are not getting any from this system. However, this is moving away. Maybe a sprinkle or two in Delaware. Trying to see maybe a few drops there in South Jersey, but again, nothing appreciable here today and the morning clouds will break for afternoon sunshine. We're headed to near 60 degrees. The faster the sun comes out, the warmer it's going to get. So up toward Trenton, where I think you'll see a little sun earlier as clouds kind of break from north to south today, 60 degrees, 58 or so in Philadelphia. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 60. Tonight is mainly clear. It's seasonably cold and it's also, despite what you see here, it is a full moon. It's the last super moon of the year. It's called the beaver moon in November and it is going to be beautiful and conditions will be fantastic to see that. So make sure you get a chance to to take a peek here tonight. Tomorrow sunny and milder, but the winds pick up winds gusting as high as 25 miles per hour. And that's a problem because of the fire danger. So you can see the winds are going to start to pick up this afternoon. It's not too bad. Winds coming in from the north, switching from the northeast to more of a northerly wind. But then tomorrow we have those winds gusting as high as 20 to 25 miles an hour by midday maybe even some 30 plus mile per hour gusts. Because of that, we now have a fire weather watch for your Saturday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and the drought conditions continue. We've now got an extreme drought for 14% of the region and 98% of us are in a severe drought at the moment. Let's take a quick look at your next weather seven day forecast where again, more dry weather at least until the end of next week. We're mild into the start of next week. Still some sunshine Tuesday, but Wednesday into Thursday, that's when some rain arrives and it may get a 